In this week's episode, rescuers save six baby rhinos from catastrophic floods in India, two new ant species named after Game of Thrones dragons, New York's corpse flower blooms, and a whale carcass buffet. Starting off in South Africa, where a ranger and a veterinary technician have been arrested for allegedly killing a white rhino. Junior rangers apprehended the men after hearing gunshots while out on patrol. The suspects, both on the front line of fighting poaching in the Kruger National Park, were found with the rhino carcass, two horns, and a hunting rifle. And a huge search is underway in India for the country's most famous tiger, Jai. Wildlife officials became concerned with the animal's fate after his tracking device stopped transmitting three months ago. Jai has fathered over 20 cubs and has been credited with helping to repopulate India's tiger population. The government has offered a reward for news on the big cats' whereabouts. Staying in India, where devastating floods have submerged the Kazaranga National Park, home to the world's largest population of one-horned rhinos. Wildlife rescuers have saved six baby rhinos since the floods began. All the rescue rhinos have been taken to a conservation center and will be released back into the wild once the floodwaters recede. Two new ant species in Papua New Guinea reminded scientists so much of dragons that they named them after the flying beasts from Game of Thrones. The Phytoli drogon and Phytoli vasarian ant species sport some impressive spines which are not only used for defense, but might help support the insect's huge heads. And scientists have just confirmed the discovery of a new species of whale by DNA analysis. The whale is a small, odd-shaped black cetacean that Japanese fishermen have long called karasu, or raven. Not much is yet known about the new species and experts have never seen one alive. If you live in New York and don't mind the smell of rotting meat, head on down to the New York Botanical Gardens where the rare corpse flower is in bloom. The tropical specimen, native to western Sumatra, only blooms once in a decade and only for about 24 to 36 hours. From land to sea with this incredible drone footage of a massive feeding frenzy, dozens of sharks enjoyed a three-day whale carcass feast off the coast of Australia. Rounding off with this mysterious purple blob, researchers found the strange creature lurking in the waters off of the California coast at a depth of over 5,000 feet, and it just might be a whole new species. That's it for today. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments.